Hello everyone. Yes, it's been a little while. So I have some announcements slash plans to announce. First off, let's address that clickbait in the title. Yes, it's clickbait. I'm admitting it right there and then sue me. Um, I'm not quitting YouTube, but I'm not exactly prioritizing it anymore. And for that to make sense, let me explain. So I'm sure a lot of you are aware or at least heard of the fact that YouTube was going to basically pull content creators as a verification badge. And that didn't affect me, of course. I don't have enough subscribers to qualify to even get that badge in any sense whatsoever. But it really got me thinking. I saw this in the comment section about recovering about it, too. That actually was the same share of thought as mine was how long before YouTube makes it to where like only verification or only verified channels can do the basic things like for one thing longer than 15 minute long videos streams monetization that's a big one that people don't really think about and of course the only channels that were going to be able to be qualified for that would be of course big network channels like abc and fox and all the kids channels and stuff like that so Basically, YouTube borderline tried to snipe gaming and vlog and, of course, gun channels. They repealed it, and that was good. Thankfully, they actually listened for once. But I'm sure if it wasn't for everyone raising hell about it, they wouldn't have changed it if they didn't get their hand too close to the fire, so to say. But that whole debacle really got me thinking, basically, is YouTube really a safe bet anymore at this point it's fun and once you really get your channel rolling it's rewarding but at this point you really gotta ask yourself is it a safe career anymore at this point i mean you look at all these big youtubers these days who basically live on not youtube revenue but patreon spotify all the kind of different announce uh sponsorships they get nowadays i mean every animation channel these days is sponsored by some VPN or something these days, not actual YouTube revenue, even though their animations are super family friendly and whatever the firm, whatever the terms is for that family friendly, nice, non gory or violent, they still get demonetized. And it's crazy because honestly, I don't know how much more kid friendly you can get. But that all being said, though, that's just kind of got me thinking these days, like YouTube still might be a really fun and entertaining idea for, you know, a lifestyle that you can have that can basically be both sustaining and, you know, relieving, if not fulfilling in a sense. But the more, the more and more and more I keep hearing about YouTube trying to basically kill itself and try to turn itself into TV, it's just kind of getting... It's getting concerning, to say the least. Like, you keep looking up at Susan up in the CEO building, like, what the hell are you even trying to do at this point? You know, you, you, make, you let some faceless Indian company basically take the number one subscriber spot, actively trying to kill PewDiePie these days. Um, you look at big channels like Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, uh other huge channels for like 15 plus million subscribers and although those guys are doing pretty good you know today i kind of caught myself wondering like are they gonna be okay in 20 years is youtube still gonna be a thing in 20 years i mean it's possible they basically monopolized the streaming service so it's very possible but the more i think about it, it's just like youtube's just not trustworthy or stable anymore like even if you already kind of got a thing going like i do is it really kind of worth pursuing anymore at this point because it can just any day now it seems like any day youtube can just kind of go like you know what boom only channels that have 1 million plus subscribers can receive a 10 percent cut of ad revenue which is basically pennies and it's the kind of thing that makes you wonder, like, yeah, this is, um, this is not as good as it was. This is not, this is not as good a thing as it was back in like 20, 2012, 2011, back when the partner program for YouTube really started kind of go taking off back when gaming channels kind of took over and basically exploded YouTube's growth, growth and popularity. 
But what I'm trying to get at is that basically I don't trust YouTube anymore. And I've been thinking about this for like three months now ish, maybe longer. I'm like, I've, I've completely lost my track of time nowadays, but I don't really see YouTube as a safe bet anymore. That's kind of the best thing. You can make, you know, a living off YouTube. People are still making a living off YouTube. You can make YouTube a very comfortable job slash hobby. And yes, YouTube is a job. That's not an argument. YouTube is a freaking job. It's a shitty job, but it's a job. Anything that gives you a tax form and requires eight hours of the day of your time is a job. There's no argument there. Sorry. But anyways, the point of this video that I'm trying to, that I'm aiming for here is I'm not going to, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of going back on my word somewhat, just a little bit from the last big video of me leaving Warframe that I'm not going to let YouTube just slip away from my fingers so I can actually, you know, make this an actual career. So I'm not going to really aim for that anymore, essentially, because honestly, if it wasn't for that whole verification thing, that would got me not even thinking about this. But like I said, that was just kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm not going to really focus on YouTube as much as I did before. And instead, I'm actually going to be focusing on joining my local fire department. I know that com that comes that comes out of nowhere for a lot of you. So something a lot of, especially a lot of my haters, ha, I have haters. Something a lot of them always like to throw at me is, you know, fuck you, go get a real job, you lazy piece of shit, or just kill yourself, blah 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 blah. You know the usual stuff. And something I never really made public that I can't blame them for, because how would they know? But let me give you some background on me, Reaper. Um, first off. I live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. I know I said that before, but let me go into more detail about that. I live literally in the middle of a desert, surrounded by mountains. You know, all of our food and stuff, our water is literally shipped to us because we don't got it nowhere else. This is a place where people come to retire from, like, New York City or something. You know, this is like, this is that, uh quiet shanty town that old people come to to like maybe raise a family but then watch the kids move away that kind of thing so that basically leaves jobs available only to older folks who are just trying to find something to do with their time and basically waiter dishwasher restaurant jobs for any young person trying to make ends meet which is why most young people move away i almost did I technically did, but I, for whatever god reason, came back. And on top of that, this is a military town. Now, for a lot of you who don't live in military towns, you're wondering, what does that even have to do with anything? Military get first pick at everything in this town. The fort here literally owns like a quarter of the city. Anywhere that isn't fort property is basically just going to kiss the military's ass. I mean, you know, I support our troops, you know, go military, go USA, blah, blah, blah. But the military will literally get like up to, you know, 20 to 50% discounts on everything. And that includes jobs. When you're a military veteran or just active military, for whatever reason, you're looking for a job, come to my town because you basically got first pick at everything. So what does that mean for non-military citizens like myself? Well, fuck you. That's what that means. If the military don't want it, then you can have it. But if one military guy wants it, well, you know, screw you. He gets it first. And that's kind of the reason why getting a job in my town is a... It's, it's a math equation, to say the least. It's not something you can just kind of go out and do like you could in like in New York or something where there's tons of corner jobs and places that are just looking for anyone anywhere. That is unfortunately not the case with me. So that's another reason why I tried for YouTube so freaking hard because I can't, I don't have the money to move out and I don't have the experience or military fortitude or background 
to just go pick something around here. But as I stated earlier, that's kind of just not the, that's just not a liberty I have anymore. So why fire department? Some of you might be asking if you haven't clicked out the video already. Well, essentially I've always had, you know, huge respect for first responders, EMTs, police officers, firefighters. They've always been a really, you know, admirable job case for me. But I always looked at it as something that I would never be able to do because I'm a fat, lazy piece of shit. But recently, I just kind of kept thinking about it and thinking about it and just kind of realized, you know, for one thing, there's no jobs around here. Another thing, the very thought of, a you know, I made a point of this too that some people called me out for. And I'll just make a response by saying, like, I hate the thought of the nine to five work life. Some of you like it. A lot of you point out how much you love your, you know, your job and your nine to five life. And that's cool. If you like working in an office cubicle for eight hours a day and it makes you, you know, if it supports you and your family, more power to you. That's a good thing. Do what you like doing. And with that phrase, do what you like doing, that doesn't apply to me. I would hate the thought of working in a small box in some office, in some, under some, uh, completely replaceable, you don't, you don't matter kind of, uh, office ranking system. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the words, but I can't. Can you tell this is unscripted? I don't want to work in some job position where basically the people on top could care less if I jumped off the side story of the building. They'd be more concerned about having to replace the window I jumped out of. I want to do something, you know, meaningful, essentially. YouTube was one of those things because I, I still love the idea of how I have my own little community, you know, of people with shared opinions and all that kind of thing. You know, we all have shared interests towards video games. And that's freaking awesome. And I want to keep that going, which is why I said I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm going to get more into that a little, in a little bit. But essentially, I kind of just kept looking at these police videos, fire department videos, basically first, you know, that kind of thing. And because, again, I always really liked that kind of stuff. But now I kind of just stopped and really thought about, you know what? I'm kind of done just not really thinking about that kind of thing, or I'm kind of done watching it from the sideline. Especially when we see videos, and in my case, real life, you know, certain EMTs just, they desperately need people who actually care. You got these police departments that, you know, take 40 to an hour times to get to someone's actually, you know, life or death emergency. You see EMTs that, you know, go up to these people who are dying and just treat them like a football and throw them into a stretcher and drive off. You know, people's houses burning down, firefighters can't figure out which end of the hose sprays out the water. It's almost aggravating, you know? So, I decided I wanted to join one of them. And since I hate the thought of my hands being in someone's organs, and I'm not too fond of the idea of being shot at, <laughs> um, the fire department honestly just kind of tuned to me the most, and... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm aiming for now, essentially. So the past three months, I've been working out more. My arm, thanks to Ashley Sogi Tenno for his workout workout routine, or tips more so. Um, my arms are already way less flabby than it used to be. I think I've already lost like 20 pounds. Um, I feel better for it now. I actually feel healthier. Go figure. You know, you work out a little bit, you feel healthier. How that? How does that work? <laughs> but. That's kind of just the case of things nowadays. It's just that um, I'm I'm not done with YouTube. I just don't really I don't want to depend on it anymore. Essentially, so for the next six months to a year, when I get rid of all this flab, I'm going to sign up for my Fire Academy and yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy a GoPro and you can guys watch. I'll post some uh some videos of work of work, but. I'm sure a lot of you are now questioning, what does that mean for the channel itself? Well, essentially, this might be good news for a lot of you. Um, nothing is going to really change too much, if at all. Because what my daily routine now kind of consists of is, well, I'm not working out. I'm already gaming, videoing, uh, videoing, recording, gaming, recording, editing, that kind of thing. Like right now, I already have at least an hour of Destiny footage I need to chop up into a 15 minute video. And 
that's kind of, um, that's kind of, it works out in a sense. I can still do YouTube when my arms are, you know, flabby and tired. But once they're rejuvenated, I work out for the whole day and then I go back to you, you know, go back to making, playing games and doing YouTube videos. So essentially things shouldn't change too much for at least the first, you know, year. And with that said, I'm basically going to, I don't know, so I'm basically going to be doing stuff kind of more lax, kind of like this video. I'm not even going to. I'm barely going to edit this audio. It's just going to be over some video footage. This, this, is kind of, this is kind of more of a vlog than an update now. But I essentially just kind of want to let you all know that the channel, the channel I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep the channel going, but I'm not going to break my damn back over it anymore because at this point, like I said too many times already, YouTube is just too damn unstable. It's like kind of like someone else pointed in um, Retaliates' video. This, I think this this was kind of the biggest motivation. And if he sees this, that's cool. Um, you know, Retaliates pointed out in one of his more recent videos, or less recent videos, when me and Eiflin basically quit Warframe. Quote unquote quit. Well, he quit. I didn't really quit quit. But anyways. Um, Retaliates was talking about how he can make YouTube purely out of fun because he's in the military. He doesn't have to worry about, you know, if videos do good or bad and if they're going to put food on the table for him or not. He sympathized with people who do live with that kind of situation. And he pointed out that it's kind of a somewhat of a lucky blessing that he has. But, you know, I kind of heard I kind of listened to him say that, you know, by listen to that, I mean, read, read his text speech. But I listened to him talk about that kind of thing. And I just kind of sat here thinking like, you know, I would really like that, actually. I would like to do YouTube. back. I would like to go back to doing YouTube just for fun. Like, being able to do YouTube and not having to worry about if a video does good or bad. I, I, I really honestly miss that. I miss being able to just post whatever and not give a shit how good it does or not. So, that's kind of what brought me to just coming to this final decision. Like, yeah, I'm... I'm dropping the YouTuber title and going to pick up a fire helmet and help and hose and actually help people. So that's kind of the plan. Um, like I said, though, the channel's not, the channel isn't going to die. It's not going to just suddenly cease activity. A lot of you have noticed that there's a new channel banner on the Patreon and the YouTube and Twitter. I think it got to Twitter. Um, new channel banner art, thanks to Smolter. I'll link his stuff in the description. I'll link his stuff in the description in the comments. Um, I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of you in my community, I know a lot of you know Smelter. He's a uh, he did the last channel banner. He's really freaking good at that kind of stuff. Um, I got that going. I got. I'm trying to update the channel to look less Warframey and more variety. But the banner has been updated. I'm working on getting these little character sprites done. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen channels like uh, Just a Robot. I hate everything. Y'all, you know, they have these little characters that kind of pop up on screen when they see needed. I'm essentially kind of getting the same little thing. I got this little kind of character. I don't know what you would call him, honestly. But the little character, I got five, six sprites, I think, with um various expressions and emotions that can help actually convey emotion. Because as a lot of you know, my voice is very dead and monotone. And I can't help that. That's just the way it is. That's what happens when you don't really practice your talking skills for your whole life. <laughs> And that's kind of just the, that's kind of the, the plan. That's kind of the goal I got going on. So, yeah, that's um really what's going on right now. We got YouTube channel shouldn't really change. It's kind of, it's kind of one of the share what's going on in my life for those of you that care. Um, yeah, that's really what it is. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, concerning questions, Regarding me, the channel, what's going, what you think is going to happen, any suggestions, that kind of stuff. Um, please let me, you know, throw them in the comments. I'll be really reading these ones. If I don't get to your comment, then, um, the, probably because either the video's old by the time you're watching this or I just need to get to it later. <laughs> so, yeah, this kind of turned into a vlog, but that's what it is. That's how it goes. So I will talk to you all next time. The next video will be about Destiny. Not really a review, kind of just my thoughts on it going, how it's going as a free-to-play game now. And yeah.
So with all that said, I am the Reaper Hunter, and I'll catch you all next time.